Welcome to the Love Hub channel, where we discuss matters of the heart and give relationship advice to women. In today's episode, we are going to talk about what men want in bed. Remember, the Love Hub is a judgment-free zone. We don't judge women here. We are your safe space. And remember, if this video will resonate with you, feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the Love Hub channel, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now let's get to the topic. Tip number one, he wants you to show him how you like it. Men are very much visual learners. They fall for what they see. Show him, literally with your hands, how you like it. Don't be afraid when he is moving his hands, when he is positioning your body, and use verbal and non-verbal communication to ensure a good time for you both. Lay on the bed and touch yourself while you order him to look but not touch, a sexy and easy way to show and tell him how you like it. Tip. Two, he wants to take it out of the bedroom. Men love variety. If you want to know what he really wants when you are in bed with him, you must keep it exciting. Explore new places to play, such as the kitchen table, the laundry room, in the car, or even outside. Having sex in new areas can also lead to more fun and creative opportunities to role play. Men love to explore things. They want the thrill and the feeling of adrenaline, the mix of having excitement and nervousness. Tip three, he wants you to make eye contact with him. Sometimes it's all about that emotional connection. Men want to see how their partner is feeling and reacting to what they are doing. They are watching your reaction. The more women can lose themselves in the moment and enjoy what their man is doing to them, for them, the better, and he wants to see that. Establishing eye contact with him while he's making the moves will drive him wild. Let him see how much you're enjoying it. Let him see you lose yourself to the moment. Tip four, he craves more laughter. We all know that humor takes the pressure off on pretty much everything. Same thing applies to sex. There are times that you'll encounter where everything in the bedroom just seems so serious. It's like when you toss aside your clothes, your sense of humor gets thrown out as well. Having a good laugh can improve intimacy. You just have to make sure that you're not laughing too much and that it happens at the right moments. Having a little laugh can relieve some of the pressure to feel like you have to exceed the expected performance. This makes it easier for men to be spontaneous and let loose. Tip 5. He wants to make love too. We all know that women do sex because they love the person. They make love. And believe it or not, sometimes men want that too. Sex is cool and all, but so is a more intimate physical connection with a partner that you have deep emotional feelings for. Men do want to make love, as in have slower sex, more intentional, and more passionate. Tip six, he wants you to initiate it sometimes. One of the most common complaints in couples is that male partners feel like they often have to initiate sex with their female partners. Men like to be seduced. They like to feel desired and attractive. He wants you to initiate it sometimes. Initiating sex sends the message to your man that you want him, which gives him a major confidence boost. This doesn't mean that you have to go throw yourself at him desperately, absolutely not. Everything that you do when it comes to seduction has to be subtle. It has to be a bit more mysterious. You want to lure him to bed with you, not scare him away. So doing seductive moves like running your fingers over his arm or slowly leading him to the bedroom with your hand 
is a subtle way of letting him know that you want him. And trust me, it will drive him wild. Tip seven, he wants you to be loud if you feel like it. Sometimes men do want in bed for you to be loud. If you are a screamer, then scream. Now don't sound like you're being murdered. Just let the passion go out of you. Don't hold back. Don't hold back your moans and groans. Let him know that you are experiencing the ultimate pleasure. This is also a form of communication. It's like letting him know how you feel deep inside and it is sexy. Tip number eight, he wants you to actively participate. Many men like to have sex with women who are active meaning they're in the moment. They're not just laying there and letting things happen. They are completely part of the act. Grinding your hips and flexing your muscles, the muscles that stretch from your pubic bone to the tailbone, this will drive him wild. These are all the things that you can do from whatever position you are currently in to make him go crazy. You can also use your hand to squeeze his arms and pull his body closer to you or use your lips to explore more of his body. All these moves, you are showing him that you are loving the action. If you are just laying there and acting like a cold fish, it's not going Going to inspire him to really be emotionally connected to you in a sexual way. That's the important thing about sex when it comes to serious relationships. You are sharing yourself, not just your body, but also your soul with your partner and he wants to feel that. Making love with your partner is a great way to establish a deep and emotional connection with the person that you love. So don't treat sex like it's just something that you have to do. Don't make it feel like it's a chore because when that happens, your man will feel that too and it will make this act less exciting for the both of you. You want to inspire your man, not demotivate him. So when it comes to sex, you really have to throw yourself into it with your heart, body, mind, and soul. It's not just something that you do to make him happy. So you don't just lay there and expect it to be over with. Be a participating partner. Be active. Let him know that you enjoy it. If this video resonates with you, feel free to share your thoughts below. If you have any tips that you would like to share with our community, feel free to post it. Remember, the Love Hub is a judgment-free zone. So whatever you say, we're not going to judge you for that. You are free to express your innermost thoughts to us. And we love reading it. We love hearing from our family. As always, the Love Hub is here for you. If you have any other topics that you would like us to discuss in the future, just let us know. We have an email in our description box. Until next time.